What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. So we're out here in the California Delta and this is pretty typical. Look how foggy it is out here. There were some spots where it was sunny and nice and there were some spots where it was really foggy. We happened to pick a fishing spot in the fog. Uh, my last trip out here, I caught a little sturgeon in this area. So I wanted to give this spot a try. A lot of people down in the comments said, hey, that spot's pretty good. I've caught him there. So I'm not too familiar with this area. So this is a good place to start. Uh, pretty shallow, only 25 feet of water here. Um, for bait, we're using some ghost shrimp. It'll look like that. We have some grass shrimp. Got them last night. I would say a little more than half of them died. Uh, but that's the grass shrimp and then I got 10 salmon row balls left from that salmon row from last time that I made up already So we'll go ahead and uh, cast those out here. Uh, this is what the rigs look like got a steel leader just in case we get a sturgeon um, You know, they got kind of a body that can cut the line uh, with like their hard scales and whatnot And then we're using six ounce weight um, Just to keep it on the bottom. We don't want our bait moving around. Oh, yeah, and I got Chris out with me today Howdy. So, uh, yeah, I'm a sturgeon virgin. Yeah, you are. So, so we to, can we get this guy on a sturgeon today? I guess that's, I always like to have a goal. That's the goal today. All right. Get Chris a sturgeon. Let's get the lines in, see if we can do it. All right, so it's time to bait up. What do I want to do here? I'm going to do for sure a ghost shrimp. Uh, again, we take off that big claw. Oop, before he gets me. Uh, I did bring thread. Some people meant, mentioned instead of uh, putting them on the hook and killing it, you can thread them on, you know, put it on the side of the hook and thread it and keep them alive. I might try that in a little bit. But to start, we'll go ahead and do ghost shrimp on this one. And then on my other one, I'm going to do a combo of a ghost shrimp and salmon roe. All right, we're gonna do a, a row ball on here too. All right, so we're using our balance rod holders. Again, we wanna use these type of rod holders um so as the boat sways a little bit our line on the ground you know doesn't move right so if the boat was moving and we're using conventional rod holders as the boat moves right our rod tip's going to pull the line and move all right lines are down it is freezing out right now my fingers are feels like i can't even feel them they're gonna fall off <laughs> i think i have two hand warmers chris has his gloves i'm missing summer fishing Let's see if we can get a sturgeon. So we're gonna go ahead and move spots. Just a few striper bites here and there. Bait's generally gone. Boat's doing something really weird right now. It's not holding in place. It just keeps swaying and swaying back and we can't keep our lines, you know, in one spot. And it's just really frustrating and annoying. So we got a foggy morning. So we got radar on the right and our graph on the left, you know, our map. The pink line, that's the track. That's where we're going. Uh, so we can kind of follow where we've been before and then on the right there as long as it's you know black we can drive the the white is structure so that's the land and then if you see red that's an object that's moving closer to you and a green one's moving away uh, so yeah that's how we're navigating to the sturgeon spot this morning through the fog we just arrived to the new spot this is where i was at last time for that video when i had that big one get off Man, deja vu looking down here and at the anchor line. Not today, guys. Hopefully we can get one on here again. So this water is 50 feet deep. The last spot was about 25. So we'll see if that makes a difference, see if we can get some fish, and hopefully that sun can get up so we can see something. Slow morning for us. Sun's finally starting to peek out. Looks like we're ready to warm up. And hopefully that means the bite will also warm up. So I got a ghost shrimp on both of them with one has a row as well and one with uh, the grass shrimp. So two combos going for me. There it is. So question is, did sea lion hunt that himself? 
Or did someone catch that and did he take it off the line? Because that's my guess, is that someone caught that and he took it. There's tons of boats up here. Alright, let's see if we can get a good thrash right in front of us. I don't know. There it is. It's huge. Did you see that? It's on there. No, oh, real, real, real. The charge you sometimes. Sturgeon? Yeah, Sturgeon? All right, we're on, guys. Really? Yeah. Doesn't feel like a whopper. Small sturgeon. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nice. What'd you get it on? Uh, ghost shrimp. Here we go for a little picture. All right. Well, you're not a virgin sturgeon no, anymore. I'm not a virgin sturgeon anymore. <laughs> Well, it's probably low 30 inches. So barbless hook, he'll just come right off nice and easy. There he goes. Whoa! Yeah, baby. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. We finally got a sturgeon in the boat. So bad news is we're getting low on bait. And I mean like out of bait. We have no more ghost shrimp. If you got grass shrimp, salmon rose gone, got a few scraps here. So yeah, we're just uh, kind of on our last baits here. Probably give it a try for another half hour. And it sucks because the bite's really picking up, it seems like. A boat way up in front, we heard them yelling. Um, you know, we just got that one. Fish finders really picking up with them, it looks like. You know, maybe that not that one so much. Well, let's see if we can go back here a little bit. There we go. See like that one right there looks pretty good. But we've been seeing uh, some good action on the fish finder. All right, let's see if we can get one. Probably about a half hour left. Guys, take another little sturgeon. Oh, yeah, it's a sturgeon. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, it can be a little bigger. Oh, it is a bass. What is that? Oh, uh... It. I was thinking it would be a, a little sturgeon, but it's going to go. that's a big striper. Unfortunately, he swallowed it. We're going to have to keep him. He's going to die here. But good size, nonetheless, probably 21 inches. This sucks, we're out of bait, and I feel like the bite's just getting good now. Next time I'm gonna have to come out with more bait, cause you have to like change it every 10, 15 minutes it feels like, it just goes bad or something bites it. If you remember for today, the goal was to get this guy on a sturgeon. It wasn't big, but you did it. Yeah, yeah. 
So uh, right on the board. That's right. Next time we'll try and get you a slaughter oversize. I'm looking for my oversize. Uh, striper, I was right. Just close to 21 inches there. So we'll go ahead and keep that one. Happy I was able to finally get a fish in the boat today. Uh, so yeah, it's about one o'clock. We're gonna head out now. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscri subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.